Now to our continuing coverage of the Twin Peaks biker trials, Dallas Bandito leader Jake Carrizal took the stand today to testify in his own defense. Carrizal is facing charges for his alleged involvement in the 2015 Twin Peaks biker shootout that left nine people dead. Channel 6 News reporter Imani Payne joins us now live from the courthouse. Imani, what did Carrizal have to say? Doug and Leslie, Carazal began his testimony by saying he was very nervous to take the stand. By the end of the day, he was in tears as he explained what it means to be a bandito and what exactly happened at Twin Peaks leading up to the shootout. Now, Carazal says he's been a full patch member of the club for five years now, quickly moving through the ranks of secretary, treasurer, vice president, and president. His father and uncle were also bandito members. Carazal struck down claims that the banditos are a criminal organization, saying multiple times that they are professional expected to be a man of their word and do not condone violence and says that getting thrust into the national spotlight with this trial has been difficult. Um, I'm sitting up here and I'm being judged by everyone here, everyone on that camera and I'm in this position and I, I can expect no mercy from from society. I'm a bandito and I'm look at looked at like a criminal so I I expect no mercy from anyone else. He went on to say that there's nothing anyone could do to make him turn his back on the Bandito organization, admitting that he broke his bond conditions several times just to communicate with his bike brothers. And coming up tonight at 6, you'll hear Carazal replay the moments he says he was ambushed by the Cossacks and how he broke down when he learned his father had been shot. For now, we're live in Waco, Imani Payne, Channel 6 News. All right, thanks, Imani.